the extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how to quickly create a colourful grid of different colours in Illustrator. And I'm just going to go over here to the rectangle tool, rectangular grid tool, and double click that. You can set the number and number of vertical as well. I've gone for four and four just to make it reasonably quick, but of course you could go for a hundred, you know, ten by ten, twenty by twenty, depending on how many you want to go through entry. Okay. So what I'm going to do, just quickly drag that out. And now I could fill it all with a single colour, and I'm just going to go and click there just to show you can just quickly fill it all red. Now you might not want to do that, but what I want to do is actually have that as red, that one, etc. Now the key thing here is actually to prepare the swatches palette beforehand. I've actually created some colours here, and of course you just drag in various colours, and just create them as basically swatches here. So I've got about 20 or so different swatches. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go over to the live paint bucket. Amazing how that looks very similar. I always select that one. Live paint bucket. And you'll notice there's a little, little colour icons just above. And you can actually just go move the left and right keys. And you can just go through all the, and you'll see over here, it actually changes in the swatches. So you can actually just change the colour. It just runs through the whole of that sequence of all the swatches I've added over there. So now, as it does that, I can just obviously just click there. Now go obviously move the right, press the right key, click, press the right key, click, press the right key. And of course you go backwards as well. You can press the left key. If you want to go back, change the colour. Now you can skip ones as well. You don't have to obviously go the complete sequence. And you can start at any point as well. So if you just say go there, you can click there and it will just change that. And you just go through that sequence. Right, and it just run through its final colour. It just goes through all the right, and there you have it got a quick and easy colourful grid of course you can expand that now just go there expand and then you've got a grid of different colours of course I say 10 by 10 whatever so if you want to of course change the colour you can also go over here and go to colour guide and use some of these and just randomise the different colours and obviously then you've only just got a limited set obviously you might get duplications which of course you've got some duplications there so okay just go over there and you can just quickly click through these and randomize the colors. Maybe use a different group. Just go for that one instead. And you can create very quick and colorful, lovely backgrounds for your maybe websites, especially if you uh, click OK. If you maybe want to go and save it as, save as an SVG file, the file size is fairly low and just select SVG there. And that's what I've done actually for my current website, graphicextras.com website, with all my various symbols and swatches, etc. Just save it as an SVG file as a backdrop. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.